Hi, I'm Donna Kovannon, Vice President of Solid Inc. Market Development in the Office Group. And I'm here in Wilsonville, Oregon, home of Solid Inc. Development. As you know, there are many myths, untruths, and just incomplete stories from competition about our very own Solid Inc. technology. Without knowing the truth or even knowing whom to ask, these statements spread to our customers and amongst ourselves, believing them as fact. Today, a team of Solid Inc. professionals will share with you the truths and facts so that you are prepared to answer any objection or question. You might even be able to provide an interesting fact that helps keep the conversation going about the power and value of Solid Inc. Let's start with the amount of power or energy it takes to use a Solid Inc. device. It is true that it takes more energy than a comparable laser device in ready and sleep modes. In ready mode, Solid Inc. uses 38 more watts than a comparable laser device, and in sleep mode, it uses 28 more watts. That's it, each less than a 40-watt light bulb. What our competition does not tell you is the other side of the story. Solid Inc. uses 395 less watts during the actual printing time compared with a competitive laser device. That's the equivalent of 10 40-watt bulbs. During actual printing, the HP Color LaserJet 4700 requires more than double the power to print a given page than the Phaser 8860. Of course, energy use depends on customer usage patterns. Higher print volumes mean more time spent printing, increasing Solid Ink's advantage. Here are some other important facts you should know about energy. Xerox has reduced energy consumption in Solid Ink products over 75% within the last 10 years and continues to focus efforts to this cause. With each new ink formulation, further reductions are made to have the ink melt at lower temperatures. Our latest ink for the Phaser 8860 products uses 14% less energy than our previous models. Now what about shutting the equipment off? In some offices, due to company policies or in power challenge geographies, it is required to turn off the equipment when the office closes. What are the truths about shutting off and turning on a Solid Ink device? When a Solid Ink device is warming up from a cold start after being shut down for longer than eight minutes, two things happen. One, it will take 12 minutes to warm up and to be print ready, meaning more time is needed at the start of the customer's print day. And second, the device expels purges ink from the printhead. If the customer has issues with these facts, let them know about our Intelligent Ready feature and Energy Star configurations. If they still have issues, sell them a laser device. We have multiple offerings. By the way, the second item purge is actually also performed by laser devices. It is referred to as calibration. It just seems more accepted for laser devices. If customers do not need to shut down the equipment, every Solid Ink device comes standard with our own patent-protected Intelligent Ready feature. Intelligent Ready learns customer usage patterns and adapts. The printer is ready to print when the customer needs it and sleeping when it's not, reducing energy consumption by 15% on average. Intelligent Ready monitors when documents are sent to the printer and when they're not over about a two-week period and adjust accordingly. If the printing behavior changes, so does Intelligent Ready. And every Solid Ink product comes in an Energy Star configuration. Now the other side of the story that the competition does not share is how much savings a customer will enjoy with a Solid Ink device, even with these considerations. So it is important to point out the big picture. Viewed from an economic perspective, a typical Phaser 8860 customer will save thousands of dollars on supplies over the life of that product, say four years and pay an average of only $30 more per year for electricity. They will save over $16,000 on supplies, toner, maintenance kits, compared with an HP 4005. Now that economic example illustrates savings for customers that buy their supplies separately from a monthly cost per copy contract. I'd like to introduce Kevin Marks, XOG Product Marketing Manager, to describe how cost per copy customers save on supplies. Thank you, Donna. For customers that want a cost per copy plan, they too can save thousands of dollars with our newest price plans, hybrid color plans. These plans offer up to 50% savings on color pages that make up approximately 75% of typical office documents, 
of which 10% are priced the same as black and white pages. This is a breakthrough offering that only Xerox provides. It is available today in North America and soon in Europe. Be sure to familiarize yourself with hybrid color plans as it opens more doors, offering a competitive advantage by allowing customers to pay for only the color they use. Many customers are already seeing the value of solid ink on these savings alone, but there is more to know. We call our inks cartridge free. Do you know why? Because that's exactly what they are, cartridge free. Okay, so what you say? Well, the so what comes as non-toxic, no mess, easy to load, less to manufacture, less for customers to order, store, less for us to ship, saving fuel, and most importantly, less to dispose of. You heard the story, now take a look. This is a pile of waste generated by an HP laser printer, one printer, for its entire life of four years, compared with the waste made from a Phaser 8860 solid ink printer. 450 pounds of trash compared to 23 pounds for a four-year life printing about 192,000 pages for one printer. And how many HP printers are there out there? That's a lot of trash taking up space in our landfills. That's our future. I've asked Don Titterington, Vice President of Ink and Printhead Research and Development, to help tell the truths about durability, longevity, and image quality. Thanks, Donna. Uh, we get a lot of requests in the field about general storage stability of the prints, and I have some prints here from our very first machine, the Phaser 3, from 1990, 1991, and they've been stored in a manila folder in the file cabinet in my office, and as you can see, they're, they're basically perfect and unchanged in that 17 years since they've been um, been there, so our dark storage stability is actually really excellent. Don, these look really good. They look like they were printed today. Well, that's the idea. That's the idea. So the other thing that we get a lot of requests about is uh, durability of the images, and, and no technology is perfect. You know, if you, if you fold things and kind of abuse them, you can see that there's a lot of uh, ink has come off in the fold lines, and, and if you really work it, uh, scuffing it, you get some transfer of the ink, and by the way, this is a print from an HP 4015 laser printer. So laser printers aren't perfect either, and uh, we find that solid ink prints are really very adequate for virtually all our customers' usages. The durability is very good in, in almost any application that they have. So, Thank you, Don. That's actually very good for our sales teams to know. Well, we always really want to get the actual facts out to the sales force, and really happy to talk about that. Now let's talk with Shell Hafner, Solid Ink Product Marketing Manager. He will give you straight talk about some other Solid Ink objections you may encounter. Thank you, Donna. You know, I get questions such as, will Solid Ink prints feed through automatic document feeders? Absolutely. Solid Ink prints can be fed through any document feeder on the market today. Or, what if I keep my prints in the car during the summer? Will they melt? Absolutely not. The melting point of Solid Ink is close to water's boiling point. Solid ink output will not melt in a car, and if your car gets that hot, you've got bigger problems. Or how about this one? Can you write on solid ink prints made from a solid ink printer? Well, writing on typical office documents is no problem. Pages with high color coverage, certain pens may not write smoothly on the image. But did you also know that's true of toners, too? Donna, here's a fact you probably didn't know. Over six billion pages a year are printed on solid ink devices from very loyal customers. Thank you, Don, Shell, and Kevin. All these facts are very interesting and important to know. Before wrapping up, I want to also touch on two more points, noise and odor. While comments to these are less common, it's important for you to know the facts. We've made several changes to the print process so that the printing is quieter. In fact, the 8860 is noticeably quieter than the 8560 and 8400. Changes were also made to the software as the printer comes out of sleep and standby modes to reduce the clicks and bangs you sometimes heard. As far as odor, first and foremost, if there is a noticeable odor, it is not harmful or toxic. 
Sometimes a candle-like smell may be noticed when the machine is warming up from cold. It is also important to note that our machines meet Xerox's strict emission standard. Well, that's it. Now you know all the facts and are armed to take on any objection or uncertainty. There are many tools and documents at your disposal to reinforce these messages. Fact sheets, white papers, and TCO tools. They can be found on the FIC, Refuse to Lose in North America, PartnerNet in DMO, and the Partner Extranet, the Smart Center web portal, and the Marketing Store in Europe, or by simply asking your headquarters support teams. I encourage you to use them and keep up your knowledge on Solid Inc. Whether you are interested in how Solid Inc. uses energy, if the output is durable or can be written on, or how Solid Inc. products make you more productive, the answers are complete and clear. Solid Inc. holds an advantage value proposition for our customers and for you, because only Xerox has it. You now know the facts that can help you win. Thank you and good selling.